Hi everyone, welcome back to Code Step by Step. My name is Anil. In this part of React JS interview question, we will talk about 10 important questions of component communication. So let's start with the first one. Uh, first question is what is component communication? How we can do it and types of component communication? See, component communication means passing data between two components or more than two components, right? So how we can do it? We can do it with the probes. And a third part of first question is types of component communication. So see, uh, I want to just uh, explain, explain it with the help of diagram. Here we can see that we have three component, component A, B and C. First communication is basically sending data from parent to child. That means sending data from A to B. Second type of communication is sending data uh, from uh, child to parent. That means sending data from B to A and third one is sending data between siblings that means sending data between A to C or C to A right so second question is what is the role of props in component communication see in react JS, you cannot communicate without props right uh, Maybe you are just thinking that we can just make a communication between uh, components with the help of Redux or Context API. When you are using these things also, still you have to use the props, right? And keep in mind, props are read only. This is another question that can be asked that. So can you modify the props? The answer is no, you cannot modify the props. So let's say you are sending data from A to C component. Uh, that time, uh, you can receive a data in C component as a probes and you cannot modify these probes, right? Right, so now let's talk about what is lifting up state. See, this is a type of communication in uh, React.js uh, With the term of lifting up state, you may just think that this is any complex term in React.js But no, this is really simple and basic thing actually. So sending data from parent component uh, from child component or you can see that sending data from child component to parent component is basically lifting up Right, so I want to show uh, just explain with here So let's let's say you want to send data from B to A that time. We will say that we are actually lifting up uh, state right and uh, Can we do it with the help of state the answer is no you cannot do it with the help of state you have to only use Props and keep in mind state can not access outside the component. They are only accessible inside the current component So now we will talk about some uh, questions that need uh, actually practical part So we will also just do some practical things. So how we can send data from uh, parent to child component. This is the simplest way of uh, component communication. So let's see so here we can see that we have a two component app.js and child.js so what we want to do we want to send data from parent to child so we will send data from app.js to js to child child.js so the output is okay let me just run it over the terminal so what we will do here we will uh, just define some uh, variable or constant here then we will pass it to the child component and we will display it in the child component right so let me just open it over the browser so for a moment we can see that we have nothing to display here so what I'm just going to do I am just removing this part because before just making this video I was uh, just making some practice and all so that I can just explain it better Right, so let's say we have this is a child component and now we can see it over the display this child component is included inside the app.js so let's say I have a const here with the name of counter and it have value 100 so I want to pass it to the child so what I can do here so I can just say uh, count and we can just pass this counter to it you can put any name to this count you can put here counter or x or y and this uh, name will be accessible inside the child component right so let's save it and uh, just get here props and now 
let's use a JSX braces props dot counter and now you will find that we are able to access this 100 data here right so this is the way that how we can pass data from uh, parent to child even you can use the two variables also uh, two constant also let's say another one is uh, x is let's say 10 then we can also pass it like this x is x and now we can access this x here also I need to just save this one also now it should work this is working fine so the next question is send function from parent to child components how we can send function from parent to child so now we are just passing the data but let's say we have a function I um, let me just make a function with the name of some const some it will basically alert something let's say 10 plus 20 uh, 10 plus 20 then uh, how it could be just called from our child component so this is simple you can just uh, make any uh, props name and you can pass here your function name and keep in mind you don't need to call it here some guys actually do that they directly call it like this it should not be called like this just pass your sum from here and then let's take a button Mm, call sum is basically a text and on it what we can do here we can just make it on click and on the on click we can just simply call here props dot sum and now it should work perfectly fine so whenever i'm just clicking over it the answer is 30 so with that way we can just uh, call the function parent function from child function so the next question on it can be asked that uh, why we need to just call function from parent component why we cannot directly define it inside the child component so see the reason behind is that so let's say my child component inside a loop we are calling it again and again right so what that time if i am defining this function inside our child then this function will be declared at 10 time obviously it will work because uh, in every separate component there is a separate function but in a perspective of code this function will be created 10 times right so it will take more memories it will take more time for execution so we can just remove these kind of functions because for a moment it this is a very small function but in real application maybe we have a, a 20 or 30 or 40 lines of function right so with that time we can just make our function inside the parent and we can call it from the child right so let me just remove this code yeah all right so next question is uh, how we can send data from child to parent component so let's say i have a data here uh, const data or it could be a state or it could be anything so it could be a let it could, could be a Mm, variable so it let's say we have uh, item is uh, mm, 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 200 or something right so i want to send this data to my parent component how i can do it in just a moment ago we created a function sum so what we need to do here we can just call this sum like this we can pass it as a parameter and now in a parent component we can access it as a parameter also so i can just put here item or data whatever i want to put here and i can alert it so whenever you have to send the data from child to parent then you create then you need to just create a, a function and you can pass it through the parameter so next question is how we can send a component from parent to child component so let's say we have another component i am putting here uh, let me just take a dummy component and I am just uh, making a, some HTML part here so let me put here h1 I can just say that uh, 
डमी कॉम्पोनेंट और समथिंग एंड आई कैन जस्ट पास दिस डमी कॉम्पोनेंट लाइक अ प्रोप्स राइट आई एम जस्ट पासिंग इट लाइक अ डमी राइट एंड ना वट यू कैन डू हेयर जस्ट गो टू दैट योअर चाइल्ड कॉम्पोनेंट just simply use here props dot dummy and it should work right let me check it now we can see that we are accessing the dummy component so with that way we can pass the component also within a prop so props are really powerful so the next question is how we can reuse this component in a loop so for a moment i am just uh, removing this uh, because i just want to give you a simple example so for that question so let me take a array so that we can just make it a loop so let's say we have array with the value of uh, some peter or uh, bruce or sam or etc right and just use here map function with that that map function what we can do here we can just simply use this child like this right and uh, we can just use here any item like um, for uh, repeat the loop and if you want to get any values and now you will find that this is working fine not actually working fine so let me check what's wrong with it or maybe this is not a uh... actually this is working fine but why this is not displaying because we don't have anything to display here so let me put here some data let's say hello and now it should be just render three time here we can see that right let me zoom it here so uh, with that loop how we can pass the data so let's say we have an item and i want to just pass these items like this uh, item equal to item and we can just print these items here use here h1 tag props dot item and now they are working fine so the next and last one is conditional component inside loop so let's say you want to make any condition so what you can do here you can apply any kind of condition so for a moment let me check here let's say item triple equal to sam that time only this component should be visible in the else case it should not be visible so now you can see that we have visible only one time that component so with that way we can just show our component conditionally so that's all for this video and in next video we will just learn some more exciting interview questions related to the react thank you so much